Hey guys, how's it going? So I was just recently watching a video by Roberts on my turntable, you know Robert, and he was saying how he is not buying any more music the rest of the year because the holidays are coming up and, you know, money gets tight. And so I'm totally on board with that and I was thinking about it and it's something that I'd really been considering for a while now anyway because I've got two birthdays that are coming up. I've got Christmas that's coming up. I just spent a buttload of money on the Revolver Super Deluxe set. So money is very tight at the moment. And so I am going to be right on board with that. I am not buying any more music the rest of the year. The Revolver set has done me good uh, for the rest of this calendar year. I've got all the music that I need. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Jeff, you've told us that before. You said you were not buying any more records, and you can put the link to my video in your comment where I said for a while, and I believe it was earlier this year, I'm not buying any more records. And then I turned around, and what did I do? I bought more records. So, because I don't want to set myself up for failure again, I have put a couple of caveats on my, I'm not buying any more records the rest of the year. Just a couple of caveats, because I, again, I don't want to be letting down the vinyl community and being disingenuous when I say I'm not buying any more music. So, I'm not buying any more music except we got Black Friday Record Store Day coming up. I got my eyes on the Doors set that's coming out, the Duran Duran live album. So I have to allow myself just those purchases. I mean, it's Record Store Day. It's not fair to me to say you can't buy anything on Record Store Day. So I'm allowing myself that exception. Also, like dollar records, if I go to the record store and I see a cool dollar record, I'm not not going to pick it up. A dollar record is not going to break my budget. So that's sort of like where I'm cheating a little bit. And if I find a grail out there, if I find, you know, if I'm out there and I see Let It Be Naked for $100, I'm not not going to buy it. That wouldn't be fair to me, and I'm not going to lie to myself and say, oh, if you saw that out in the wild, you wouldn't buy it, because I know me, and I know I would. So, with those ex those exceptions, and also, like, CDs, CDs are not that expensive. CDs are not going to put me in the poor house. They're not going to ruin Christmas for my family if I pick up a CD or eight because they're not that expensive. So in terms of like monetary, like I'm not, you know, going whole hot, like cassettes. If I find cassettes under $15, I might pick a few up. Again, not gonna break the bank for me. So I'm allowing myself a little bit of wiggle room. And if there's any reissues out there, like Elvis Costello's had a couple of reissues. Um, All This Useless Beauty, I still gotta pick that one up. Um, you know, Chris Isaac, San Francisco days, if that comes out, if I'm able to find that, yeah, I might pick it up. But apart from that, apart from any records out in the wild that might fill a hole in my collection, you know, looking for that last CCR album that I need, if I find that out in the wild, I'm not going to walk by. I mean, it'd be a disservice to myself and my collection. And it's not gonna, an expensive record anyway. Um, but apart from that, apart from any limited edition box sets that might come out. Like I just heard from Sam St. John, the Monkees are releasing the Headquarters box set with like 69 new tracks. I mean, I'm not a lunatic. I'm not going to pass that up, especially if there's only like 40 uh, that they're releasing I mean, am I going to deprive myself of that just for my own principles? No. So anyway, those caveats uh, that I've just listed. Um, and, I, and I mean, if I'm in the wild and there's any records that I see that are listed, either they're discounted or they're listed dramatically lower than I know the fair market value is. Yeah, I might pick up one or two. But, I mean, the odds of that happening are probably pretty rare. I'm just, again, leaving myself an out. If I'm out there, I don't want to be cheating on myself by saying, well, you said no more music. Well, it's not, again, it's not fair. So...
no music for me the rest of the year. And by new my no more music, I'm not talking about 12 inch singles. If I see any 12, 12 inch singles, by and large, are around $2, at most $6. So again, you know, in terms of the financial uh, repercussions, a couple of 12 inch singles are not going to, to do me any harm. I mean, same for 45s. 45s are a couple bucks each. So I can part with a few bucks if I see a couple of 45s that I need while I'm browsing. Um, so that is pretty much my promise to myself, unless I see like a record in the shrink with a gigantic hype sticker that I'm really looking for, or if there's an upgrade to my collection, if I find a record that is in way better condition than one that I have, and it's gotta be a cut, it's either gotta be number one like a classic, classic album in my collection, like Dark Side of the Moon, Pet Sounds, you know, Led Zeppelin IV, uh, Beatles, Abbey Road. You know, if I find something that is a significant upgrade that is a classic album or a significant upgrade to an album that I already have, then, yeah, I will allow myself a little wiggle room uh, to this promise. Um... So basically, I mean, that's it. Or if I'm in the wild and I find a record I don't have in my collection, I might pick it up if it's reasonably be priced. But apart from that, I am not buying any more music. And I'm telling I'm saying this more to me than I am to you guys. What do you guys care if I buy more music? But I just, you know, with the holidays coming up, the belt's got to tighten. I got to put the kibosh on going nuts when I go to the record store, going nuts on Amazon. That shit has got to stop. And it's stopping right now. So as of uh, November 2nd at around 1230 uh, in the afternoon, I'm done. I'm done buying music. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me uh, in my endeavor and have a great day.